You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What is up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Uh, I want to welcome back to the channel, my OG. Thank you for your continued love and support. And I want to welcome to the channel any, any new viewers. If you're liking how we are vibing over here, go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We love to have you to be a part of the fam as well. All right, let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. Let's see. All right, y'all. So, um, I got to start it off with some energy today. Before I get started with that, I want to let you guys know that, um, as you uh, start standing up for yourself, as you start um, closing out chapters in your life, okay? As you start really, uh, how can I say it? <clears throat> as you start limiting your access to people who don't deserve your time your energy your love you will receive uh resistance from people okay hold up y'all trying to get this right all right you will receive some resistance from people okay people who want access to you people who don't know how to these are people operating from i'm gonna I, I was picking up strongly the jezebel spirit type of energy that's manipulation that's people being controlling right trying to covet or trying to possess somebody trying to uh make somebody do what they want them to do or feeling uh having a sense of entitlement i want you guys to know that even if you do receive uh, pushback from people which a lot of you guys may be receiving or you may receive pushback from people as you try to close out certain chapters from your life that don't that no longer serve your highest good i want you to not let that stop you from moving forward to not let anybody guilt trip you into uh i, I mean i just heard paving your own way not let anybody guilt trip you out of moving forward in your life. There will be people who you. As what was about to come up in this reading that you will have to literally block. OK, to keep them out of your energy, to keep them out of your space. Uh, and there will be people that you end up blocking or you end up cutting off. Or you end up, you know, distancing yourself from that's going to feel some type of way about it. Right. There may be people that want to try to guilt trip you or make you feel like you have you have. I'm just hearing an offense like you, you, you've committed a, a huge offense against them against them. Can't even say it, but you've committed a huge offense against them by standing your ground, by setting strong boundaries for yourself, by even changing your mind. These may be people who you may have, may have made promises with before or you have some sort of sense of loyalty or allegiance to these people, okay? But you may be finding and you may be uh you may be finding that it's <clears throat> you can no longer hold that promise to these, to to this person or this place or this thing or whatever it is. And there will be people who Try to make you feel guilty about that. OK, now what we have here, I wanted to before we get started with that, let's go ahead and pull something from the I want to to pull a daily guidance to start us off here. Additionally, as well. OK, what do we need to know from this deck? Messages. 
It's taking its time coming out. What do we need to know from this? Ooh. And then we get how many? Too many. What do we need to know? Ooh. What do we need to know? Okay. From this deck. <clears throat> There we go. Steady progress. Look at that. It says, we acknowledge, okay, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love and your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. I feel like you guys, as a collective, as a whole, we're moving into, um, and I know I've said this before in previous readings, if you've uh, been paying attention, um, that we're moving into this vibration of love. And within this vibration of love, this is first starting off with self-love, right? And when you embody the energy of self-love, when you bring that love back to you, uh, to fill your own cup, to bring stability and balance into your own life, you start taking care of yourself. I just heard taking care of business. Like you start taking care of your own business, taking care of yourself. And a part of taking care of yourself is also protecting yourself and making sure that you are in the proper environment or you are around the right people. When you're in this love vibration, this self love vibration, you no longer let people occupy spaces that they're not worthy of occupying, okay? Or that they don't deserve to occupy. I mean, they've done nothing. You may be coming up against people who've done nothing to solidify a specific place in your life and your heart, okay? But they expect the world from you. They expect everything. They expect you to just hand them things. Whether that's your time, whether that's uh, your energy, whether that's money for some people, uh, something connected to resources. Yes, you have a kind heart. You feel me? Yes, you care about other people, but you are not here to be used and abused by anybody. And that's why a lot of people around you, if they are not on the up and up, a lot of people will be revealed to you. You will see what you need to see so that you can make the necessary adjustments as need be. Because I'm getting spirit once you end this energy of steady progress, steady moving forward. So if anybody's coming within your energy, trying to stag stagnate you, they're trying to distract you, they're trying to pull you backwards, okay, they will be uh, exposed, I'm getting a lot of you will be seeing people in a different way, a different perspective. And that will very well cause you to instantly distance yourself from people, instantly uh, limit their access to you and your access to them. And I'm hearing it's all in, in, in the name of steady progress for you to be moving forward. Comment down below if you are ready to go RTG123, baby. Yep. Ready to go. Okay. And a lot of people will not know how to handle that. Will not know how to to take that because they're used to having access to you. They're used to you paying them attention. They're used to I'm getting an audience. They're used to you just giving them that care, that attention, that affection, um, that support. That they want from you, but you're no longer doing that for certain individuals. I'm hearing bad apples got to go. Okay, I'm hearing the bad apples got to go. Here we go. We got somebody here who was blocked. You guys, you may have already blocked somebody. Or you may have uh, be getting ready to block somebody. Okay. Or you are being cloaked and hidden away from certain individuals. There are certain individuals that spirit is automatically 
setting up parameters around you that will block them from having access to you. And also, there could be people around you as well spying on you through divination or trying to do some spiritual spying, but that you are also being cloaked and hidden away from divination spying at this time. And there may be people that don't know. They they want that access to you. They I'm getting people want up. I'm just hearing, you want a piece of me. It's like so they want a piece of you. They want to have your time. I'm here just by any means necessary. And look, we got pressure cooker here. This is one of the cards that came out. This is this is the original uh, deck that I use, um, which is the basis of this reading, which is the situations. What is this? Situations deck, oh, whatever. Right here. Okay. But the first card that I got out was pressure cooker. And this card talks about somebody being enraged, okay? Somebody ready to explode. Somebody not knowing how to act. Because they're not getting what they want. I'm seeing somebody throwing a temper tantrum. Because they can't get what they want out of you. But whose fault is that? It's not your fault to appease and pacify grown adults, okay? Whoever this is. And I want you guys to know, all, always know that this is a general message. So everything is not going to apply to you. You feel me? Take what apply, let the rest fly. But somebody is ready to explode. They're mad. I just heard big mad. Somebody here is big mad, okay? And somebody here is gossiping because of your actions, because of the choices that you are deciding to make in your own life. We live in a sad day and age when an outsider, okay, somebody who your choices do not uh, immediately affect, get offended by your choices. If you choose to go down a certain path, if you choose to protect yourself, if you choose to no longer subject yourself to a certain type of energy, especially if the energy is putting you in a negative space, if the energy is causing you to be pessimistic, if the energy is causing you to, it's triggering a negative attitude within you or a cynical attitude within you, if it is causing you stagnation, it's pulling you backwards, keeping you stuck in the past, when you should be moved, when you should be focused on the present and you can steadily moving forward, right? But that, right, it's all about steady progress but when you get into that mode if you feel like somebody does not fit your current schedule then it's okay to release them and you got people that feel like you shouldn't like that shouldn't be up to you maybe you should talk to me first maybe you maybe maybe we should compromise in some sort of way why do you want to because it's because they don't see the issue and they're hoping that you don't see the issue either and just because another person does not see the issue or does not see what subjecting yourselves to certain people, places and things is doing to you internally and spiritually and physically even just because they don't see it. That's not your problem. It's all about I'm hearing self-preservation. You got to save yourself. And when I what I mean by saving yourself, that's putting yourself in a healthy environment. To not feel like you got to always be fighting somebody or uh, you always got to be on guard around somebody. If you always got to be around guard on guard around somebody, that's not the place to be. But we got somebody who's mad because you are setting firm boundaries for yourself. They're mad and they're mad and, and, and talking behind your back. These are those. This is somebody here who. You may have thought was a friend. You may have thought was, um, I don't want to say associate. This could be a coworker you were close with as well for some people here too. But this is somebody that you thought that you was cool with, right? Mind you, these are the same type of people that you quote unquote are cool with at the time. And you don't got no animosity towards this person. But the minute you, the minute you make a decision for your greater good and your own well-being, if it if it means you walking away from them, they start talking crap. 
they start telling you your, your, your secrets. Anything, any, anything you've confided in them, they start putting it on uh, on blast, telling everybody. Or they they start trying to dig up dirt on you to see what they can use against you, uh, use it against you as ammunition. I just heard that was never your friend. Keep it moving. If you come across anybody, I heard that song from Alicia Keys. I won't tell your secrets. And this person telling your secrets. Somebody here. So it's like this person is trying to like, okay, well, since you're trying to do me X, Y, Z, I'm going to cause you to be in some sort of scandal. I am going to bring negative attention towards you. I'm going to make you feel bad. I'm going to make you look bad. I'm going to make you look like a bully. I'm going to make you look like somebody who's heartless and cold. Somebody, there's somebody who's actually actively working to make you, to try to paint a narrative and paint a picture that you are this heartless and cold person when you're not that type of individual. When you've only, when you, you only want a certain type of energy around you or you want to, to create a certain environment for yourself because that is conducive with what you're currently trying to accomplish in your life. You have goals set for yourself. You want things to change. You want to build things. You want to start things. You know what I mean? You want to be around people who are um, inspirational to you, right? People who are positive additions in your life. You don't want to fight with people. You don't want to gossip about sit around and just gossip uh about things you know what i'm saying that are um, irrelevant to your life and that is that are not helping you out at the end of the day you don't want to be a part of that kind of narrative and it's okay that you walk away from that type of energy somebody you may you may uh there may be something else that you consider okay that you yourself consider low quote unquote low vibing you might not want to partake in those things you might not want to be around it you might not want to be and this could somebody here this could be about some sort of uh addiction okay any type of addiction whether it's substance uh where there's uh activity i don't know any kind of addiction anything that you think that is really messing with your spirit okay bringing your spirit down it's okay if you walk away from it i'm hearing somebody this is this is specific this is not for everybody i'm hearing somebody you may have had a time where you were addicted to substances okay and you are now deciding to let all that go or you have already decided to let that go and turn a new lease on your life and 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 and, and walk the life of being sober embarking upon your sober journey so when you're walking upon your sober journey you cannot be around or you you may feel like you can't be around those people because there's too much temptation too much pressure and i'm getting the people that you may be wanting to separate yourself from are enablers they would work even if you were to outwardly tell them hey i am quitting this i am you know, trying to wean off of this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm cutting this out. I'm going to be sober. Da, da, da. And they could, they will, they would just like still try to, you know, coerce you even in some instances or persuade you to partake in that thing that you are trying to walk away from. And these addictions that could be for, like I said, it could be for substance. It could be for activities, uh, bad habits, anything, right? Negative thinking. It could be for anything. And of course, you would not want to be around people who are still doing something that you are not, you wanting to get away from. And you got, I mean, I'm hearing people like are being petty about it because they're jealous and envious that you had the balls to have the courage and the strength to really release, uh, Things that don't serve your highest good, especially if it's something like an addiction or, or if it's just something that's hard for you to do anyways. it's There's people around you who may be jealous that you were the one that actually broke the chains. I'm talking to a chain breaker. You break karmic cycles like it ain't nothing. Once you, put, once you set your mind to something, once you are done learning or experiencing what you want to learn or what you're needing to learn or experience, 
you break those chains and you move uh, away from that and you move on to the next level. OK, and there are people that feel lost without you. Like I need a partner in crime. I need somebody by my side. But you may have ghosted this person, you may have blocked them or cut them off. OK, and now somebody is feeling lost without your presence there. But at the same time, I understand why a person would, would, would feel some sort of uh, void when a somebody who was like a permanent fixture in their life decides to extract themselves from the situation, right? But at the same time, you're doing it for a good cause. You're not doing it because, oh, well, I, well, I think I'm better than this person or, you know, something superficial. No, you're doing it for your own health. And for somebody, I'm hearing your own wealth because you may have been losing money by associating with certain people and certain lifestyles is what I'm hearing too as well. You may have been losing out on opportunities because you're preoccupied with the wrong people, with the wrong energy in the wrong places. And now you are really taking that accountability uh, if I can say it, you're taking the accountability and you are uh, manning up. You're womaning. If that's a word. You're womaning up. You feel me? It's like you are adulting. You're like, OK, I have to apply the adulting, quote unquote, adulting principles to this situation. And I have to do what I need to do. And I can't let nothing and nobody stop me. I'm seeing Leo energy here, okay, which is all about your confidence and your self-expression and about leading, being dominant, being proud of who you are. No longer being ashamed of who you are and your experiences and even uh, the repercussions that may have come after you took certain actions, you made certain uh Mistakes like what well, you might call them mistakes. You made certain mistakes, but you you learned from those and you are growing from those. And that is all that matters. And I feel like a lot of us in, in general in the collective are learning that 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 is all that matters, that we all make mistakes. It's uh, it all comes down to what are you doing after you make that mistake? Are you still making that mistake over and over and over again? Are you learning from that experience? But we got somebody who is feeling some kind of way who is ignited. I see I see a flame being ignited due to your progress. And this person wants to challenge you, though, is what I'm getting, because we got drama queen energy here. And this talks about this person being thirsty and they're causing chaos. They, they love this energy when you are doing bad with them mm. somebody don't want you to know so i'm getting a little throat chakra <coughs> action here <clears throat> but when you're doing bad with them When you're gossiping with them, when you're keeping up drama and chaos and confusion with them, for somebody her, when you're lounging around with them, not doing anything, not not pursuing your goals, for somebody I'm, I'm hearing smoking. Somebody here, you just you stop smoking. Especially with that flame right there. Somebody here, you stop smoking, okay? <clears throat> but when you stop smoking out with them or whatever you call it, uh, when you stop <laughs> smoking with them, they got mad. Or they are getting mad because it's like, who do you think you are? It's like, this is somebody who's concerned, overly concerned with themselves and not really looking at the whole looking at the collective or the whole group uh 
individually or as a whole, right? <clears throat> as a whole. And being very, very sensitive. I'm getting this person is very, very moody. And they're very, very sensitive. This person loves to play the victim role. This is somebody here that I'm picking up for somebody here. Is this person loves to play the victim and that victim mentality ignites them into some sort of rage and it kind of for them in their mind it validates their rage that they have towards people <clears throat> for them it makes it okay for them to rage out on somebody or makes it okay for them to to talk crap about somebody it makes it okay to to try to to bring drama or seek revenge towards another person in their own mind it makes it okay once they find a way, I'm hearing find a way to weasel themselves into the victim, uh, the place of a victim. Hmm. <clears throat> and I'm getting this may be for some of you guys, this individual has even tried to do. Oh, I just heard spell work for somebody. But what I meant to say is what I'm trying to say is that somebody may very well have tried to do readings on you to try to find out uh, what's the secret to your success. Uh, what do you got going on? Why have you changed? Why are you being different now? Why are you rejecting them now? Because somebody here, this person feels rejected. <clears throat> Uh, somebody may want to know, has somebody gotten into your head? Has somebody told you something about them? Is somebody persuading you in some sort of way? Or did you just decide to cut them off cold turkey and go a different direction in, in a direction or with people that would be more beneficial for you? For some of you guys, I'm, I'm picking up on an energy of somebody who really did not take you serious, okay? They left you with no other choice but to walk away from them. I just heard playing on my top, like playing, they're playing, like really not valuing you as a person or even <clears throat> knowing your worth. Are not wanting you to know your worth. We see we got the key here. Okay. On the bottom of the deck. This deck right here that I'm using is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. A spiritual gangster oracle volume two. Okay. So. Uh, oh, it's on the bottom. Oh, wow. Bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Look at this. You got to be kidding me. That's why that spell work came through. So for something, it's not going to be for everybody, though. I hope it's not for everybody. But what I'm picking up here, well, what we're getting, what we see here is that very well spell work may have been done or somebody's wishing bad on somebody because. Oh, for somebody, I'm feeling this, this, this hatred energy. I know some people get triggered by that word. But I'm that's the energy that I'm feeling like somebody is very, very mad. And I feel like this anger that they are feeling is not even. This anger that they're feeling is a culmination of different challenges that they have been facing in their own life. And it doesn't really stem from you. It's. It's in, I feel this way, therefore I am going to do this to somebody else. You feel me? I, uh, life is not fair for me or this was not fair. Da, da, da. Like, you know, I'm going to, and I'm going to take my frustration. I feel frustrated because I was bullied on my job or bullied in school and, or whatever. Or I got a speeding ticket yesterday. I'm going to take something out on somebody. That's, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. It's misplaced. Anger is what I'm getting from this person. I'm getting it could have been anyone. It could have been anyone that <clears throat> it could have been anyone that triggered this person 
that set them off. It could have been anybody that in, in wow. I just heard that you just so happened were the one that was singled out and targeted. Look at this. And now somebody sees you as some sort of uh, opportunity to harass or to attack or to bully, singling somebody out. And I'm getting this person is trying to. This is low key. An attempt to transfer energy. OK, because I feel like this may be somebody who also, too, and it does not excuse the behavior, but it is somebody who feels like they're having a tough time in life or they're just having a bad week or a bad month. <clears throat> I'm getting this person has been watching you for a while in a certain kind of way. This person has been side eyeing you with an aggressive and aggressive underlying nature, whether regardless of this person was smiling in your face or pretending to be your friend, pretending to be causal with you. There was aggression behind the scenes. I'm hearing aggression uh, building up. OK, part of that aggression is about who you are as an individual. Part of that aggression is them knowing that you hold the key or you are you are the key. Hold up, y'all. <clears throat> you are the key. You possess everything you need within you and you don't need anybody else. And it's easy for you that once you come across an individual who is treating you bad or who is just not fitting within your program, it's easy for you to say goodbye. OK, because and I feel uh, maybe in the past you weren't that way, but now you're moving more so into that way because you're moving more so into that than the, the energy of number one, which is a leader. Number one, you're making yourself number one. You're making yourself the MVP and you are. And that is uh, in turn allowing you to 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 increase your strength within. OK, your own personal power. OK, your confidence. Uh your own ability to express yourself or be yourself and not have to try to follow a crowd, right? And your ability to be your own pioneer, pioneering your own path or your trail, right? And this person sees that. This person sees that somebody here, uh, the person, <clears throat> your person may be feeling like it was just too easy for you to walk away. Like, if you cared about me, regardless if I cared about you or not, if you really truly cared about me, you wouldn't have cut me off so swiftly. You wouldn't have turned your back on me so quickly. And someone's mad by that. Mm. Death spells are being sent out at this time. Make sure that you guys are praying. Stay prayed up. Um, I'm for somebody I'm hearing read your read your read your Psalms, read your Quran, do a spiritual cleansing, do whatever you need to do for yourself, okay? Uh, in whatever resonates with you, all right. What else we got? How many cards did I use from this deck already? <clears throat> the truth. Look, look at this, yo. Underneath the deck, star seed. The truth. The light of truth clears up all confusion and brings in clarity. Yes. I told you before that. God is really waking you up to certain people, even if their energy uh, is showing up in subtle ways or if their intentions or actions or tactics or moves, whatever, if they were more so on the covert side. That's being all brought to the forefront. 
that's all being made public. It's no longer private. It's no longer hidden. It's all out for, I'm hearing for the world to see. Because that is the only way that you'll be able to, to really make the best decision for yourself. Okay. And I'm here for somebody number zero. It's like infinite possibilities. There's so much out in life and that, you know, for you to be hung up on one individual, right? There's so much out in the world, right? I'm talking to somebody who may resonate with being a star seed. You have cosmic origins and are connected to the stars. You know that you are meant, you are... <laughs> I'm hearing different than the rest. That's, that's, that's what I just heard. Different than the rest. You know there's something different about you. You know there's something special about you. You know that you were not just sitting here to twiddle your thumbs. You have a mission. You have a purpose in life. What well, flipped over? Oh my God, bro. Ooh, and look what's on, underneath the deck. Protection, hold up. Well, we're gonna get to it in a second. But we got the dolly, baby. Y'all know what that is? Voodoo doll. Somebody it says someone has created a voodoo doll in your image. So for, it's not gonna be for everybody, but for whoever it applies to, yes. Somebody may have created or erected a voodoo doll in your image. Oh, for somebody here, I specifically see an individual drawing something on a piece of paper i see somebody drawing an image that is supposed to represent you and mind you guys this information is not coming to scare because i some i feel somebody getting scared like it's not for you to get scared over you feel me <clears throat> but i see somebody drawing somebody's picture on a paper and then putting circles around it i don't what are they doing that for? Putting circles around it like this. Just over and over and putting circles around it and going. Somebody, I see somebody putting circles around it, like going fast. And they're going counterclockwise. They're not going clockwise. They're going counterclockwise like this. And they're doing it so hard that it's even like tearing the paper. I know what I'm talking about. And they're going counterclockwise, which that counterclockwise motion is telling me they're trying to make you prevent you from moving forward in life. Trying to take you back in time. And this death spell energy here, this could very well be about death to your dreams, death to your progress as well. OK, for somebody here. Now, the bottom of the deck, we have protection. It says your health and well-being are being protected at this time. This person very, very well may be trying to affect your health, especially if you made a decision to cut off certain individuals because of your health. This is your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. There's somebody that. That really wants to, whatever you're trying to do for yourself, they want to sabotage it. But you're being protected. Mm. Look, confirmation. What we talked about earlier. What does this card say? This card says petty, jealousy, envy. This person is being possessed by the spirit of jealousy and envy. That is clear confirmation that you are seeing live and in living color. They're jealous of the way that you're moving. They're jealous of you moving on. They're jealous because you're are envious of the fact that you are able to. Um, hold on. What's on the bottom? Love spell. Ooh. Oh, hell no. Look at this. I love spell. Mm, oh, oh, oh. We're gonna, okay. We're going to unpack this because I got, what is this? One, two, three, four cards. That's on the bottom. 
Now, what's these two? We got Hexed. Blatch. <laughs> Blatch. Black magic has been detected at this time. So, remember I told you guys, do some spiritual cleansing, some prayers, whatever you got to do, whatever resonates with you. However you do it, do it. This person is a whole imposter. It says someone puts on an act and is not the real thing, a spiritual fraud. This may very well be somebody who says, oh, my God, love and light. Oh, my God. Da -da -da. Oh, my God. I'm a chosen one. Oh, my God. I'm a da -da 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 -da. And they're nothing like that. They're nothing close to that. They're a whole spiritual fraud and they're actually doing. I'm getting the upside down. They're doing the opposite. OK, so if this person preaches. I am a Christian. They're the opposite. I am da -da -da, whatever. Uh, they're the opposite. Whatever energy this person uh, claims or portrays to embody um, or whatever image they're putting out to the public is the complete opposite behind closed doors. Yeah, I'm seeing altars, voodoo dolls right here. All kind of weird stuff. Somebody somebody also put a love spell on somebody here. We got someone is trying to bind you to them as their one true love. For somebody, this could be an ex or this could even be somebody who you rejected and you ain't never been with them Ooh, before. Someone, yeah, someone either you dated, you cut off, you let go of or someone who wanted something more that you were not willing to give them. This could be somebody you were friends with, you were acquaintances Something like that, you just cordial with, and they wanted you, you declined, and they got pissed off. Simple as that. There's nothing like, I know some people, somebody may be asking, well, why, why? It's simple as that. This is not even complex. This is not complex right here. This is so cut and dry and super simple. Trust your intuition. You already know. <laughs> Spirit just say, ain't no need for you to be asking no questions. You already know what the deal is. Stop, stop playing. I'm here for somebody here. To stop playing. It says the intuitive abilities you possess are second to none. Stop playing. You already know. Comment down if y'all ready to go. RTG one two three baby. Yeah, you already know. You already know what time it is. And then we got witch doctor. Somebody may have gone to a practitioner. I am seeing, I don't know why this always, always pops into my head. I'm seeing an Instagram practitioner. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody may have went to somebody that they met or that they saw who cast spells through Instagram. Somebody could be even be in another country doing this from another country. Or trying to do this, I just heard. I just heard trying to do this. <laughs> Somebody's spirit team is like trying to do this. Someone is, someone is, um, someone is one, or is using a witch doctor for assistance. I'm telling you, I'm getting some sort of. I'm getting that this person, and it might not be true for everybody, but for somebody, I'm picking up. Somebody is. Somebody offers their services online. That could be TikTok, but I'm, I instantly got Instagram, Instagram, witch, Instagram, witch doctor, Instagram, whatever. You are in your divine feminine energy right here, whether you're male or female. It says you are embodying a pure yin divine feminine energy. Attract, not chase. You are manifesting. You're pulling things to you. You want to know why you're pulling things to you? Because you are the key. You realize or you are realizing or you learned that you possess everything you need within you. You don't need to depend on anybody. You don't need the buddy system if you don't if it's not a healthy thing for you. You don't need a friend on your on your hip if they're not a positive addition to your life and you're not going to nobody you don't. you don't need. Oh, I just heard you don't need a man on your hip if it's not if that person is not healthy. You don't need a woman. If she ain't healthy for you, you feel me? 
you good. You have everything already. And then somebody does not like the fact that you are you are walking in your, your authenticity. You're walking in your truth. You're walking in, the, in your independence. You are really embodying the fact that you are a sovereign being and that nobody controls you. Nobody holds nothing over you. You got always have options. And that's what somebody wants to not this person wants to be your op opposition is what I'm getting here. A healer. I'm talking to somebody here who's also a healer. Your natural abilities allow you to heal yourself and others. So anything they throw towards you, if it ain't blocked all the way, you healing from it real quick. Da -da -da, bam, you done. You feel me? You heal people. There are some people who benefited off of your healing abilities by being around you, by being connected to you in some way, fashion or form or having your good grace, being under in your good graces, because as long as they were in your good graces, you're sending them positive vibrations and they're benefiting off of that. Hmm. Let's see what this uh, love, crime and passion deck that that's what this one comes from. This one comes from this deck right here called love, crime and passion. So let's see what cards come out in this deck. Yeah, look at this on the bottom obsession. This person is unstable. Unstable, stuck. They got mental issues. They're uncontrollable. For somebody, this is a co-worker, bro. For somebody, this is a co-worker, whether you work online, whether you work offline, or you could do, you could be a freelance person. This could be somebody for some, not for everybody. Oh, what's on it? Um, in the, okay, this is flipped over. What else? Anything else flipped over? Yeah, that one flipped over. What else? Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, so we have somebody who was playing chess here, being calculative, planned, really coming with... <laughs> I just said somebody was trying to come with their A game or they're trying to come with their A game and to not let your guard down with this individual. This is somebody who lives a buck wild lifestyle, extreme behavior. They live a partying lifestyle. They may be very uh, promiscuous. And they there's a substance right here, too. See what I'm talking about? I said something about substance. Hmm. <clears throat> just going crazy, bro. I'm just, I, I'm just hearing like going crazy. Just loose. <laughs> Buck wild. I'm getting demonic possession on on somebody's person. Your person is your person is subject to demonic possession. Your person is easily fluent by entities, okay? Especially low vibing entities. Your person is highly uh, susceptible, okay? Uh, this person. <clears throat> I feel like what's on the bottom clarity again, bro. Clarity again. I feel like this person is they know being that you are in your divine energy right now that you are attracting other divine companions, whether those are lovers, whether they friends, whether they family members, whatever you feel me. This is. Balance out energy, the yin and yang, spiritual, something that's destined, okay? I feel like this individual can no longer stand in the way of your own destiny, what you were destined to do, who you were destined to be, who you were destined to be with. And I'm looking right at soulmates and your community 
as well. Getting with the right individuals, surrounding yourself with the right people, uh, with the people that are in, a, in alignment with you. OK, and we got clarity again. This is another one that says that everything is uh, coming to the for forefront. The truth is coming out. A breakthrough is coming. A realization is happening. Enlightenment is happening for you, too, as well. You're seeing all that you need to see to make the necessary moves, decisions, okay, that you need to make. Broken promises. Somebody may have gave, given you broken promises in the past, lying to you, being fickle, disappointing you, abandoning you, whatever. Or somebody may feel that you broke their promise by ending a contract with them okay for somebody if it's a co-worker this could be they felt like you ended the work contract with them for somebody if it's a friend love or whatever they they do they feel like you ended you ended some sort of soul contract with them and you're not giving this person a second chance i see this person would have been open for a second chance Yeah, didn't I tell y'all about this energy right here? Uh, this person was susceptible to uh, entities. And one of those entities uh, is this incubus succubus type energy, right? Demonic possession, a fiend, a freak. This person, yeah, somebody here is coming up is very, very promiscuous. Very, very out there, okay? For the streets, illusion magic somebody may be doing some illusion magic trying to manipulate you this is that jezebel energy that's coming back up uh projecting things onto you um trying to have you believe in facades or things that are that are not real like i was telling you before it's like this person has um a persona that they project out in public and there's something com completely different behind the scenes Somebody may, they may have wanted to mess with your mind too, your perception, especially because you are high priest, high priestess vibes here. Your intuition is very, very tapped in. You're very, very tapped and tuned in. Okay. And they wanted to mess with your own perception. Okay. Because if they get you, they, if they could, if they could infiltrate you in that way to mess with your perception, oh, it'll be fair game. They'll be able to do whatever they need to do. Right. It's all about the energy, right? They were trying to mess up or they were trying to do something with your energy to distort your own energy okay keep moving forward is what i just heard keep moving forward i think oh I was about to say, we're done with this deck. Illusions again, bro. Somebody trying to confuse you. Somebody trying to manipulate you. The energy, this is the energy. There's confirmation right here, energy. Somebody needs to hear this. If this, if this resonated with you, comment down below. Let me know uh, that this message is getting to the right person. Let's get some advice for you. What if, what other advice do you need at this time? Stand up for yourself. Stand in your power. Emperor energy here. Stand in your power. I'm hearing you a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Bad mama jamma. I mean, I'm hearing that you are so strong. You are in a powerful position at this time. That's what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. They want you to, to, to feel like you're not. They want you to be confused. They want things to look unclear so that you can't really stand in your power. You can't keep moving forward with strength. Okay. 
It's time for you to sit on your throne and reign in your kingdom, queendom. That is what I'm getting with this emperor energy here. It's time for you to take your power back. It's time for you to be that boss that you know that you've always been. It's time for you to follow your instincts and trust yourself. It's time for you to stop being confused, okay, for somebody here. It's time for you to get ooh, heard, get your act together. I don't know who needs to say that. I just heard get your act together. It's time for you to I'm getting to stand up for you. I'm getting to instead of fighting with people, let them leave them alone to do what they got to do. And you keep paving your own way and being the leader that you are. Leave them to their own vices and you continue being a leader. I'm looking at five, 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 and it's five right now. So there's a major changes that are happening in your life. OK, look at this judgment on the bottom of the deck. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You're seeing the light. Things are becoming clear. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, I can see all obstacles in my way. You can see everything right in front of you. Yeah. And look at this again. Nine of Pentacles. That means you're good on your own. You don't need any stragglers around you. You don't need nobody holding you down, depending on overly, depending on you. Uh, you don't need nobody. You don't need that. The, the, the negativity. You're finally moving into a position or you are finally in a position to where you feel confident in yourself. You believe in yourself. You have the ability to move mountains is this energy that I'm feeling around you guys right now, especially with the emperor and the nine of, nine of pentacles, you got energy to move mountains. Okay. Energy to move mountains. Never forget that this is you coming into balance. And, and this is you very much being in that power with that, with that intuition is very, very strong right now. So pay attention. You I'm getting that your intuition is very, very heightened right now. And, it's there for a reason so that you can pick up on these vibrations so that you you know uh, so that you can pick up what you need to pick up and, and, and get the downloads that you need to get to get the guidance that you need to get. Like you may be being guided to certain people, places and things, and there's little gems and nuggets and, and things that you can use on this journey to help you move forward, to help you continue moving, to help you uh, stay in the, uh, the vibration of steady progress and moving forward. You're not letting anybody change who you are either. If your heart was full of love and compassion, it's still full of love and compassion right now. Firstly, towards yourself and then secondly, towards the collective and people who you were meant to um, come across and affect in some sort of way. There's a lot of love around you. You're picking up on this love vibration. You might be looking around saying, where is that love? Where, where is the love? <laughs> you may be looking like, where is the love? And spirit is saying like, it's there. It's there. Open your eyes and opening your eyes. That is exactly what you're doing with this judgment. Uh, this judgment. This is like enlightenment. This is having a revelation, having uh, realization. Okay. This is seeing things from a different perspective or having, um, the wool pull from over your eyes and you're finally able to see what you weren't able to see. And, and I feel like you guys have a beautiful, there's some beautiful experiences. Look at this. As soon as I stop shuffling 10 of cups, there's some beautiful times that are set for you to partake in. OK, beautiful times, beautiful moments. It's not all about gloom and doom, beautiful moments with brand new people uh, who you'll get along with. Right. 
or this is just you in, a, in, a, in whatever kind of environment that you deem that is happiest or most comfortable for yourself, right? However that looks for you. But you have some beautiful times ahead of you. So it doesn't matter. No amount of spell work that they're doing is going to stop this. You feel me? Because you are the master. You are the captain of this ship. <laughs> Just heard. Soy capitán, soy capitán. La, la, bamba. <laughs> la, la, bamba. What's the lyrics in that song? Why did that song pop into my head? La Bamba. <clears throat> it's time for you to have fun. You feel me? It's time for you to have fun, is what I'm getting from this. What is it? Para bailar la la bamba. No, no. Para bailar la bamba. I'm adding an extra la 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 la. Para bailar la bamba. Para bailar la bamba. Se necesita una poca de gracia. Una poca de gracia pa mi pati. <laughs> it's time for y'all to have fun, bro. It is time for y'all to have fun. It's time for you guys to enjoy your life and be the captain of your own ship. Take the wheel and guide that ship to where you want to go. It's like I see open sails. The sea is wide open. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to take your life? What do you, um, for some of them here, where do you want to take your career? Where do you want to take your love life? You know? What do you want? How do you want to grow? Because this is also in alignment with personal growth. And I feel like a lot of you guys um, are having and are going through or went through a spiritual awakening just now. Okay? And... Uh, you're needing that moment to process everything, that that moment of solitude to process everything. Mm. I'm seeing expansion, okay? Expansion, the sea. Uh, I'm seeing a sea, open sea. You can go anywhere. It's wide open and it's the perfect weather, right? For you to navigate your boat to wherever you want to go, your ship to wherever you want to go. You're the captain. You determine where your ship is going to go. All right. So that's what I got for this message for you guys. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this, this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Fafi Taitele Lava. Mahalo Nui Loa. Obrigado. Anong Yaseo. Arigato.